what is more favorable is to use this hook here. See, I'm pulling him up, trapping him against my shoulder, and framing against his head so that I can roll him over into our final control position, which looks like this. My knee is in the middle of the shoulder braids. His arm is in a shoulder lock position, so I can pull here to convince him to stop fighting if he still is. And my other leg is an outrigger. Try to move around a bit. He doesn't really want to because he's pinned. But if he does, my leg can go with him, so I stay on top, call, call for backup, pull my radio, handcuff him here. This is really the ideal position. This is our finishing position that we're going to use throughout this course. Uh, one more time from, let's do this side from the other angle. So say he punched, I got my 50-50 clinch here and decided I need to take this guy down. The knee on the belly, look, transition right so into here, hook, flat now so it's not so bad. And you control him here. People are always worried about this hand with the groin, but once you pull him like this, it becomes less of a threat. Notice the hook here and the frame here. Very important. I need this frame so he doesn't attack me any further. Then I can start talking to him. Sir, I need you to comply. Turn over. Turn over for me. Thank you. It's not as bad as you think. Everything's going to be fine. That kind of stuff. Even when you are in a volatile situation, try to keep cool and demonstrate empathy toward your aggressor.